there are certain scenarios where you may want an alternative to standard encryption. Consider being a journalist in a country where encryption is illegal. If you are picked up by the police, you may be asked to unencrypt your media, or worse, assume to be guilty. Overdrive is a completely open source device that masquerades itself as a USB drive. If the user inserts it normally, it will self-destruct. However, if the user licks their fingers before inserting it into the computer, the data will be presented normally. Wait, what? You have to lick your fingers? Yeah, is that weird? A USB flash drive has three components. A USB port to plug into the computer, a USB controller, which is a chip that interfaces over USB to the PC, and a flash memory. We're going to need all of these components, but we're going to need some additional components. First, being an additional microcontroller. This is going to be to read our analog circuitry to see if the resistance between the electrodes is low enough, i.e. the fingers are wet. The second is the actual analog circuitry itself. This is going to condition the signal from the electrodes so that we can read it properly into the microcontroller. And finally, a destruction circuit. This is going to be a charge pump that charges above the maximum rating of the flash memory, and if the MCU commands it to, it will enable a transistor to destroy the flash memory. As far as the layout goes, things are pretty straightforward. As you can see, the USB is selected on the right. The USB controller is just selected. Microcontroller. On the bottom of the board, I've placed the flash memory and the destruction circuit. As I said before, everything is completely open source. So feel free to check out the GitHub and open up the files in KaiKa. fully assembled device. When you connect it to the computer, it enumerates and you can see it come up via D-message. So the USB controller IC is working, um, it fits in the enclosure, and I can connect to the microcontroller. So as far as this revision goes, I'd say that it's a complete success. However, there are some issues. To start, when you do an LSBLK on the system, the actual memory of the USB device is showing up as zero blocks. So I don't know why that's not working right now. I looked at some pins and I think I might have some RB0, RB1 stuff going on. So this channel will be dedicated towards building similar hardware to this. If you like this video, um, please feel free to subscribe. There's going to be more videos on this device as well as other future open source devices.